Welcome you once again to the physics lab. Today we are performing a new experiment and the experiment is to find out the refractiveness of the liquid that is water by using a convex lens and a plane mirror. The apparatus required are a plane mirror, a convex lens, half meter scale and optical needle and a top step. Also the drop. We start out with the experiment. First, we have to keep the plane mirror on the base of the pitot stand, and then we will keep the convex lens above it. We will see the erect image inside this combination. So, plane mirror and a convex lens on top of it. Regarding this experiment, the whole experiment, the uh, derivation and how we get the formula and all this calculation. All the things are given, I have already explained in my concept lecture. So if you are interested, I, I think you should see that lecture once again before performing the experiment. You will exactly know the physics behind it. So you have to click the link in the description box and see the lecture once again. This lecture is on concepts of this experiment. So the aim of the experiment is to find reflectiveness of water. So, first of all, to start with, keep the plane mirror on the base of the retort stand. Fix the pin in the gland of the retort stand. Keep on top of it convex lens, which focal length we don't know, but we'll find out by using this experiment. And then we will again be able to remove the parallax. So, we have to get the image. We will get real image somewhere in this area. Where are we getting? Unless and until we remove the parallax, we won't know where the image is from. So let us do that. I can see that. I can see the inverted image of the pin. And at one particular position, I can see that they are moving together. Means what I have to do? I have to. Now at the moment, I see that the object pin, this pin, is moving faster as compared to image. That means there is parallax. We need to remove the parallax. In order to remove the parallax, we need to now take the object closer to the image. Because the object pin is moving faster, we have to decrease the distance. So I decrease the distance and at one position, I can see that they are moving together. So they are moving together. We can see that the tip of the image and tip of the object pin are touching each other and they move together and we have to take two readings. One on top of the lens, one on the plane mirror, and then from the average. So we have to take the reading now. First reading, I will take on top of the lens. So what I get is, I get this on top of the lens is 10.5, and then I remove this, and I take the reading on the plane mirror, and I get the reading as 11.4. So this is what I am getting. So I have to find the average of the two to exactly get the position from the lens to the pin. So I get the focal length of the lens. What I get is the focal length of the lens. I got the value as nearly 10.9. That is the focal length of the lens. We have already learned this in the concept part, reference, conceptual lecture. Then what I need to do is I remove the lens from here and take a dropper. And slowly put some water on top of the plane mirror. And after that, I keep this lens and delicately place it on that position. I get a nice circular lens, one more lens inside the lens. I can see. So I have to take the reading now. Now I see that they are not going to the can see the image properly. So I need to find out where the image is. So slowly, slowly I take it on top. And now I can see the image as inverted image once again. But now the image, again now we are moving together. So remember one more time I'm telling you, when you are performing the experiment, there is a possibility that you get a fatigue in your eyes, the eyes get tired. So slowly massage your eyes. And then I can see the reading, and then you will see a nice reading. If there is an error, we can remove it. So, 
I can see that they are moving together. The second part of the experiment, you have noticed one thing. At this moment, what we get is the focal length of the combination, means plane mirror, water, and there is lens above it. So there is a plano concave lens formed by water, and then there is a plane mirror and the so all this combination we are getting one ready, which is higher than the previous one. And why it is more than the previous one? Then also we have learned in our concept part. So I just take the reading once again. I get the reading as 15.4 cm and then I again take the reading here. That reading is 16.3 and 15.4. These two readings we get. Find the average of the two readings and the average we write here and then we can see the observation table. Now, one more thing we have to remember. We have to take three readings in the, for the first part. How many readings? Three readings. Just with the plane mirror and the convex lens. And three readings for the water combination. So like this, when you take three readings, you can get the average. So that is what we get. The overall average we must get in the range of 1.3 to 1.33. And I think we are getting it. Let's do the calculations and find out the reflective index of water. Very simple experiment, but the concept part and the theory behind it is not that simple. You need to really see the theory, learn the concept, everything is fine with optics. Thank you very much. First, we find the focal length of the convex lens F1 is equal to 10.9 cm. Next, we find the focal length of the combination capital F equal to 15.8 cm and F2 that is the focal length of the liquid lens is found using the formula F2 equal to capital F into F1 upon F minus F1 which is equal to 15.8 into 10.9 divided by 15.8 minus 10.9 which is equal to 15.8 into 10.9 upon 4.9 which is equal to 35.1 cm. Finally, we find the refractive index of water by using the formula mu is equal to 1 plus r upon f2 equal to 1 plus f1 upon f2 equal to 1 plus 10.9 upon 35.1 which is equal to 1.32. So we get the refractive index of water equal to 1.32.